All right, is this the future of bikes? Specialized launched a new S-Works Shiv, non-UCI legal. So this is like anything goes, as you can see, absolutely crazy sort of designs here in comparison to the very strict UCI like regulations. So the reason I think, is this the future? Because with triathlon, there's no rules. So in reality, these people can make the fastest bikes. So assuming that eventually the UCI will get rid of some of these rules, these bu these bikes could be the future, but we will see. So anyway, you can see straight away that the um, chain stays here are incredible. Like, sorry, the seat stays here are incredibly far down the bike. Normally on a, a UCI legal bike, they'd be somewhere up here maybe. Um, but here they're really, really far down, which I guess gives a little bit more aerodynamics. Um, we have the classic sort of drop seat stays, but obviously to the max. We have the stupid fairing at the back that looks retarded, but obviously it's going to be faster because there's less um, airflow, get, like there'll be less airflow where my mouse is here. Um, if there was no, nothing there, there'd be a big gap. Um, and I guess that's sort of the reason why they bought this um, seat stay down, so that then they can have this gap, this little flap filling the gap. We then go to the forks. The forks, there used to be this UCI 3.1 rule, but obviously triathlon there's not. These forks are absolutely fat, um, and they're also probably going to be a little bit wider. It's obviously also disc-specific disc as well, which apparently if you, you can get more aero because you don't have to close this section here. You can leave that open at the front. I think at the rear, it's probably minimal, um, just because normally most people have the brakes under the bottom bracket anyway, or around this area. So I wouldn't say it would make too much of a difference. However, it might allow you just to sort of make things a little bit wider because you don't have to have the narrow caliper. We've also got all these sort of bottle cages and extra things to store your food on. We've got storage compartments. I mean, these will never happen in a TT bike because TTs aren't that long, but for triathlon, maybe, or even in um, the, the British cycling, was, uh, sorry, cycling time trials where there's no UCI rules, I can imagine these bikes for 24 hour rides might become more popular because you could store a lot of food on it. Um, so you can see it's just, it is quite an odd bike, very odd bike. Am I a fan? I think it looks stupid, but that's sort of my, um, that's just my opinion. Is it 11,000 pounds? That, that is, that is a lot. That is a lot, but I guess it's S work, so you know you pay you pay for the brand. Um, I feel like if another company, maybe Giant or someone like that, who just doesn't really have the same brand name, uh, they wouldn't be able to charge that much because people just quite frankly would not buy it. This is the whole thing about one and a half liters of storage. Um, it's just, I mean, it doesn't look mega different in terms of like most of it, most of the, what the old Shiv looked like. Um, I mean, I guess it's more just the fact that it's got these stupid seat stays. Um, sorry, chain stays. I keep saying seat stays. Seat stays. Um, sorry, I do mean seat stays. Um, and then this fucking fairing thing. I don't like. It just looks dumb. But I guess it's faster. Um, I'll show you another bike which is um, also ridiculously stupid. Um, Diamondback um, TT bike, and you'll just see how stupid this thing looks. So this is what we're competing with. I mean, we're competing with this stupid thing. That, I mean, genuinely, it's like it looks like a fucking. It looks like a wall or something. But anyway, so that, that is the bikes they're sort of competing against. Again, disc specific. We'll also have a look at the old P5X as well. That's a classic. Again, looks stupid, but apparently is fast. Then we'll have a look at the S-Works Shiv TT bike. Yeah, so this is this is the TT bike. Let's say, um, you know, this is what Nikki Terpster and all the boys won the, um, the world's time trial on. And I mean, this is the Bora Hansgrove version, but again, you can see it, it's not, it's not mega different um, in comparison, really. Like, we'll sort of go for a comparison side by side. I wonder what the tire clearance is like on this. Probably not mega, just because generally on these bikes, it's better if you have like a 22 on the front or 23 on the front, because it's just more aero. But again, you can see the difference between the two. Um, it's not crazy on the front end. I mean... Like, it's more just around here with the seat stays position. But you can see even here, the, t the wheel is very close. It's almost actually closer, I'd say, than on the uh, time trial bike. Uh, Handling-wise, I'm not sure what the wheelbase is, but I would imagine it will be pretty similar. Handling will probably be, if anything, maybe a little bit more relaxed on the, um, on the time trial, on the shiv for triathlons, just because uh, obviously they don't need to corner as aggressively it's a bit longer so that will be my prediction but I'm not really sure I haven't, haven't ridden both of them uh, and then so yeah the forks again you can see the forks here go the rake angle looks pretty similar but you can just see the width of the fork far larger um, unfortunately we don't have a head on shot of the S works I couldn't seem to find one which is a bit annoying but I think what you'd see on here is that you see it's very tight here and the forks actually hug it very close but apparently because the wheels 
create a lot of turbulent flow. Basically, if you have the fork slightly wider, it actually means you don't get as much drag because the, the air sort of just, which the air which is sort of like disrupted by the wheel just passes straight through instead of hitting the fork and slowing it down. That is the rumor. Uh, well, that's what a lot of people say. Like um, the Pinarello Bolide has that, and also so does the Orbea Ordu, I think it is. Um, and also the coffee this uh, who do they write? Oh, yeah, yeah, the Orbea, or sorry, they do as well. Um, so, yeah, what are your thoughts on the new S-Works? I quite like this one, to be honest. I think the new one looks a bit stew with this bearing on the back. Um, yeah, it just doesn't do it for me. Um, would I buy one? No, because I don't really do many TTs. I'm looking at a TT bike, but I'm never going to buy one of these. Far too expensive. Um and just a bit stupid, to be honest. I mean, if you, if, I, if you turn up to, like, a time trial or whatever, even though it's legal with that, I mean, like, yeah, it just wouldn't be done. I mean, obviously, you have to make progressions and things, and, you know, it's good that they are. But at the same time, I mean, it just does look a little stupid. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this video, um, and I'll see you in the next one.